Okay, so for land three, we're starting with 192, 168, 10, 128. We need 25 hosts, so uh, 2 to the fifth will give us 32. And 32 bits minus 5 is 27. The whole notation is 192.168.10.128 slash 27. Okay, uh, now we move on to the 27 minus 24 is 3 bits. Uh, Subnet mask is 224. Um, so the whole subnet mask will be 255, 255, 255, 224. And we will be counted by 32 since we have 3 bits. Okay. Next we move on to land 4, 192, 168, 10.160, okay, 25 hoes, 2 to the 5th, 32, 2, 32 minus 5 is 27, so we're at 192, 168, 10, 160, 27, alright, once again we're going to be counting by uh, 32, so that'll give us our next uh, network starting 192, 168, 10, 192. Uh, same subnet mask. Alright, LAN 5, we're starting at 192, 168, 10, 192. We only need 10 hosts this time, so we take it to the fourth power, give us 16. Uh, minus 2, give us 14 usable hosts. 32 minus 4, 28. Uh, halfway through the octet, 192, 168, 10, 192, slash 28. And um, 4 bits in, it'll give us a subnet mask of. Uh, 240 in that octet, uh, 255, 255, 255, 240. We'll be counted by 16 since we're four bits in, so our next uh, network will start at dot 208. Alright, uh, LAN 6 starts at dot 208. Need 10 hosts again, so it takes us to the 4. 16 minus 2 is 14. 32 bits minus 4 is 28. Alright, so our IP or network address will be 192.168.10.208 slash 28. All right, 28 minus 24 is 4. Gives us some that mass 240 again. Uh, Counted by 16. Takes us up to 224 for the next network. All right, this will be our server uh, LAN with the one server and the one. Uh, we also need the one uh, host address for the interface so uh, we'll not be using two servers uh, just two uh, we just need two addresses uh, two squared is four minus two is two thirty two minus two is thirty uh, so we're 224 minus thirty uh, two twenty four Saturn notation of thirty okay um, count about four two twenty four plus four is two twenty eight uh, so the mask will be two fifty two alright um, and now we're getting into our WAN connections. We have seven LANs, and um, these are point to point connections, so we only need two addresses one for the um, connection to the central router, and the one connection to the uh, router that actually is connected to the rest of the LAN. All right, we'll do the first WAN. Uh, it's 192, 168, 10, 228 starting out. We need two hosts, two to squared is 4 minus 2 is 2 hosts, 32 bits minus 2 is 30. So our first one will be 228 with a Saturn notation of 30. Um, 30 minus 24 is 6 bits, so uh, 252 will be our subnet mass for that uh, particular octet. And count by 4 is our next one will start at 232. Uh, all of these will count by 4, so just uh, 228, 232, 236, 240, 244, 248, 252. Those will be your uh, 7 LAN uh, addresses, or your WAN addresses, excuse me. Alright, so these are your networks right here. Uh, first one is 192, 168, 10, uh, These are your uh, first and last host addresses. Uh, anything in between those will be usable host addresses for the first network. Uh, second, same scenario. 64 is your network address. 65 is your first usable. 126 is your last usable. Uh, anything in between there belongs to network 2. Okay. Um, moving on. So, uh, simply just make sure you start out from scratch with each problem. Uh, don't go in with any preconceived notions of what will be needed for that problem. Um, start to pay attention to the outcome. So whenever, once you figure out what you do need for that problem, um, and you get some uh, actual 
input into that problem, you can tell uh, what your outcome might be if you start paying attention to your previous outcomes. This will allow you to uh, follow patterns and figure out what you need to do and uh, save you some time in the long run. Um, at first, write out your steps. Um, just figure out a good pattern. Um, you can do it like I did it or however you do it. Um, but it, try to find a way that after a while you'll be able to do it in your head once you get um, try to do, be consistent in the steps you take um, each one of my slides was pretty much the same slide uh, from start to beginning and um, you want to try to do the same thing uh, for the same kind of problems you want to be able to just uh, plug the variables in to the same equation and come out with your answers um, of course as always just practice you'll get the hang of it eventually um, I hope this has helped. Uh, that's all I have for now. Thank you and see you next time.